So I just have to point out the idolatry that the Democrats have for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. It really is something astonishing. Roger Simon, who's a writer over at Politico, he tweeted out a picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is apparently ailing. And he said, if it were possible, would you subtract one day off your life and add it to Ruth Bader Ginsburg's life for one extra day of good health? If just 10,000 people did this, it would add 27 productive years to her life. I don't even, what? Like, I don't even know. Is that a brainstorm? Like, does he think that we have that, that life-sucking machine from the Princess Bride, like we're going to strap Wesley to the table or take 50 years off his life and then donate it to Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Or is, does Ruth Bader Ginsburg have like a room of young virgins in the other room and she just sort of drains them of their life force? <laughs> I, I tweeted out, maybe we should all give a year to Ruth Bader Ginsburg and then she can live forever, presumably handing down pro-abortion rulings from now until the end of time. That'll be really exciting. I, imagine that. Do you have that kind of idolatry for anyone? For anyone? And this deal is not on the table. And if it were on the table and you were willing to sacrifice 24 hours of your life for Ruth Bader Ginsburg, then I would suggest that you probably have your priorities not in order. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is a, is a human being. She's not a saint. And if you're willing to do that for anyone, like, of all the people on earth that you do that for, that would be it. If I were going to give a day of my life to anybody, wouldn't it be some kid with cancer or something? Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Yeah, okay. It just, all right. I mean, I guess your priorities are your priorities.